Hello and welcome back to my personal hell. I don't know if this was recorded uh, before or after I first mentioned the audio changes, but you may notice different audio ch uh, this time around in this video. I should be a little bit louder. And the game audio should also be a little bit louder, but it should quiet down while I'm talking. I'm not sure how noticeable that is right now, but maybe it will become more noticeable as we go on. Anyway, this should be the second progression video for this season that I'm trying. And I'd like to make some progress, but um, perhaps more productive than just getting a rank or two would be um, getting some stats on some of these cards. So bear in mind, regard if, if I make progress in this video, this um, will get, I'll, I'll crunch the numbers on, on this one and throw it in a spreadsheet at some point. But if not, if I don't make progress in this video, then you're probably not going to see this and I'll still be crunching numbers on it. Um, either way, the main purpose is that I have some uh, some some hard facts to go off of to uh, determine whether or not I should go in one direction or another. Um, granted, I don't have um, the most rigorous method for determining what cards are winning me games, but um, inductively, I think I have a a decent method for producing game winning hypotheses, or should I say? Um, a, a hypothesis as to what sort of deck will uh, get me the most success. Put it that way. Anyway, um, what are we looking at today? Well, um, it's not so different. Uh, nothing too fancy we're running with. Extra deck is pretty much unchanged. Um, some stuff I've changed with the extra deck. Mainly, I've taken out some cards that have uh, not been incredibly successful from the few games that I have uh, crunch numbers on. So those are the ones that I've associated with pretty poor win rates, and uh, I've re retained or even uh, maxed out copies of cards that are very successful um, in, my, in this deck. Most recently, um, I can attest that Decisive Battle of Golgonda very, very, very good performer. Um, surprisingly so. I even... I, I knew this card was going to be good when it came out, but it helps to have that view affirmed just by numbers, even though it's not super obvious in-game. Because every time I stop something with Decisive Battle, I'm like, oh, I could have stopped that with, like, Huge Revolution or something like that, right? Or maybe a random card destruction could have been stopped by, like, Imperial Custom or something. But the stats show Decisive Battle Golgonda is fabulous. And the stats also support that Fiendish Chain is still really, really good. It doesn't seem like it's that good. It's targeting. It only does affect monsters. They can't attack. They can't activate their effects. But it's just that fucking good. And I wonder how much of that is informed by the fact that I can get a draw off of this with magical broker because i can't do that with any other variation of the chain cards i can't do that with uh phantom knight's fog blade and stuff right so i uh i'm i'm personally pleased that fiendish chain is still doing as well as it is grave the super ancient organism is perhaps as as good as it's ever been at least up until cash tira released because at least before cash tira Pretty much all the big meta decks were fusion or synchro. And that means leveled boss monsters, which means this turns off their leveled boss monsters. So that's good. Soul Levy, even one copy of Soul Levy, um, plays very, very well. Lose one turn also plays very, very well. And even the game uh, says, I believe the stats for lose one turn are that it has a 53% win rate or something absurd like that, which is way higher than I would have expected, but I mean, it has it has done a lot of good for me. Um, some cards we are running um, just to ad adjust to certain trends. In particular, I'm running two copies of Ghost Ogre 
um, just because certain cards on the fields, it's it's a it's a form of removal. It's non-targeting removal, and it gets rid of certain headache cards. Um, that can completely stop an opponent's deck from steamrolling me. Labyrinth's Field Spell. Eternal Soul in Dark Magicians. Virtual World Chuche. A handful of uh, back row cards that can just like pop a card every single fucking turn are really, really fucking good against me. And Ghost Ogre is a direct counter to those kinds of cards. Um, so that's really good. I've not played a whole bunch of extra deck monsters recently, um, but it could just be the sorts of games that we're getting. Who knows? Um, I am trying to run Fierce Tiger Mongu again. I'm still running Mongu, not just because it can be really good, especially with Clockwork Knight, but because uh, Mongu had. I don't have really have good stats on Mongu yet. I don't know how effective it is. Um, in, in terms of like win rate or anything like that so i'm continuing to play it until i know how it performs um with some with numbers to back that up i'm back to running dimension shifter the main reason i think i i had two reasons to stop running dimension shifter the two the two reasons are one it's functionally a dead card after turn one which i hate but i can also use it to tribute set which has saved me uh, in even the most recent video. Is it's, it's managed to save me. At least I, th I think it was the most recent video. Um, and even then, um, I, I can get rid of it by other means, like Allure of Darkness. But it's it's still it's a still a bricky thing to do, especially because you can only run th two now. You're no longer allowed to run three. Thank you, Fluanderies, for that. You normal summon spam bitches. That said, I still have a roughly 25% chance to draw these cards in my opening hands, which means it's a roughly 25% chance that I could get my opponent to pass their turn to me. There's an even smaller chance that my opponent could draw into Called by the Grave and be able to respond to it right away, but it's, it still sucks. Dimension Shifter wrecks a bunch of turn one combos, though. And that's the the main purpose to it. The slim chance that I'll be able to... <clears throat> the, the slim chance that I'll get my opponent to pass their turn to me. Because if I can go first, I have way more success than if I end up going second and I have to break through a, a wall of Omni Negates. Um, to go along with that, I'm running One Day of Peace again. The first time I did a whole bunch of number crunching, One Day of Peace actually, surprisingly, did not perform that well. I'm not entirely sure why. I I'm don't personally believe my opponent drawing one card is generally that powerful against me. Um, but for whatever reason, it just was not reflecting well in, in the numbers I collected. So I'm, I'm coming back to it just to double confirm that it is as ineffective as it, it supposedly says it is um this could definitely uh stop uh, uh otks which is very helpful um so i'm i'm throwing it in there just to test it out rivalry of warlords similar situation i don't know how well this performed i've actually not run rivalry of warlords with any consistency before but i really want to know how it performs and so far i've had some games where it's actually been quite effective but obviously it's I think the main reason why Rivalry of Warlords is limited and there can be only one is semi-limited is because there can be only one is far more likely to mutually affect your deck, the one that you're playing. But I'm already playing a very low monster deck, which is atypical for virtually anyone else who may be running There Can Be Only One. So, Rivalry of Warlords is potentially an entirely one-sided lockdown card where my entire deck could be just one type of monster so it will fuck over anyone who isn't just one type of monster or who wants to go into a different type of monster same can't be said for there can be only one because if i can diversify the monsters i put on the field and my opponent can diversify the number of monsters they can put on the field then at least you still get at least one of each monster 
it's still a tremendous lockdown card, and I, I, I struggle to imagine that this isn't still more effective, at least in my deck, than Rivalry of Warlords. And I think that may explain the discrepancy I have in my experiences with them both. I mean, they even put this one as, like, alt, alt ultra rare, and this one's a secret rare. I don't fucking know. Anyway, um, I'm also... I took out the Fire Prisons, which have very good stats in terms of you know, associated win rates, but I'm running three copies of Synchro Zone because I like Synchro Zone a little bit more. It's just much less fetchable, and I question, actually, called Synchro Zone. I wonder if it's fetchable. I wonder, actually. Um, I'll look up Synchro Zone real quick here. Is there any card that would just allow me to fetch a Synchro card? Hmm. Nothing's coming up in a preliminary search. Although I wouldn't be surprised if there was something like that. No, nothing's coming up for me right away. There may be a card that is able to search this, or at least one that's not one of the, you know, hyper-generic fetch-anything cards. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. Um, it's less fetchable than the field spell, which, which kind of hurts its availability a little bit, but neither player can declare attacks except with synchro monsters. That plus Grave the Super Ancient Organism effectively denies any type of monsters from attacking. Um, problem is, I can't swing through that, and that obviously is anti-synergistic with a more aggressive Clockwork Knight playstyle. That's something to consider. I'm still running Soul Levy. I would like to phase out Soul Levy, but I would also like Battlefield Tragedy to be added to the game. That remains to be seen, though. I really like Battlefield Tragedy, I would like to get Battlefield Tragedy. I would run more copies of Battlefield Tragedy. It's less situational, and it would uh, reward me much more reliable, re reliably for stalling out the game. I could just straight up replace um, Final Countdown, to be perfectly honest. Um, but, you know, the state of the game, the cards that are available. I hope Battlefield Tragedy comes out soon. I would really like that. I would like a deck out option, at least before Time Thief Redoer's uh, Time Thief Power Reserve becomes more available. Then I can actually do like a very consistent deck out strategy. I'd have lots of cards that could help me do that. Anyway, so this is what I'm running right now. This is what I'm hoping is going to get me a rank right now. Let's check it out. Yeah, shut up. All right, Platinum, rank three, let's go. Close out a Firefox. Speed up our connection a little bit. Not that it makes a difference, but I like to pretend it makes a difference. Okay, interesting. Definitely interesting. Pretty straightforward options right now. Axie? Three cards. Let's see how you can play through these three cards.
That's a little bit of a problem I have. Is uh, this would be pretty ineffective against uh, certain decks like Labyrinth or even Trap Trick. This is a very good chance of being uh, uh, infinite impermanence. What you got? Labyrinth. Wonderful. Awesome. Okay. I was on guard for uh, Elder Entity Natis. I'm glad I drew that so I can get rid of this allure of darkness in my hands. This will hurt Labyrinth a bit. And we'll just turtle up. And I'm gonna hold on to Ghost Ogre until I see the, their field spell. So this explicitly uh, gets rid of one of their uh, removal effects. Um, Big Welcome Labyrinth. It turns off two of their traps. Uh, Big Welcome Labyrinth cannot use its grave effect. That's cool. <clears throat> Big Welcome Labyrinth cannot use its Grave effect. You don't have much going for you right now, do you? This is definitely a, a less than ideal Labyrinth play. Big Welcome Labyrinth's Grave Effect allows it to bounce one of my cards um, while it's in the grave. It can't only do that if they have a level 8 or higher Fiend type, which obviously Clockwork Knight prevents. There's also, I think it's called Archfiend's Ghastly Glitch, which is just a straight-up removal card, but it only works so long as they control a Fiend, and obviously they do. This will help tremendously as well. Alright, we've managed to survive one infinite impermanence. We're doing much better against those. Decisive battle definitely helps against infinite impermanence. I 
I'm surprised they've drawn so few monsters up to now. Usually Labyrinth is, uh, burning me. Half my turn. Uh, oh, that, I'm not a fan of that. I'm really not a fan of that. Fuck, dude. No reason you're not going to banish. I mean, they're both spellcasters, and there's really no way I can get around this, even if I get rid of Clockwork Knight. But I have multiple copies of Clockwork Knight, and it's the least, least important thing to have right now. I'm going to pitch it. Rivalry of Warlords is not going to be super helpful here. You'd think I get Ice Dragon's Prison more often, but I really haven't. Both Dimension Shifters are banished. Ant Attack! Too worried right now. I'm just gonna pass, honestly. If they summon some weenies to try and beat on me, then I'll do something. But doing a terrible job drawing into any sort of monsters right now. There you go. Okay, Pot of Duality. Take the Fierce Tiger Mongo. One day of peace. The Fierce Tiger Mongo can't get over this thing, unfortunately. That's, that's kind of an issue. Let's assume I'm not going to get out 10,000 Dragon. I'm comfortable saying that. Nice. That's really nice. Two called by the graves after a dimension shifter already resolved. Imperial Iron Wall would also have countered it. Skill drain. Hmm. Very interesting choices. Okay. I'll leave it at that. Not what I expected them to place all face down. For a Labyrinth deck. Getting rid of their extra deck, I'm a fan. 
If there was a card where I could force a pot of extravagance on my opponent, I would honestly use it. <sighs> Fiendish Chain. At that. Twenty-two. They're at twenty-six. Got a big welcome labyrinth, which is not good because they can bounce. Things negated though, so I can target it during end phase. That was during your draw phase? Fuck me. Not surprised. Yeah, I couldn't have activated Phoenix Chain. I thought it was during their turn. I have no choice in the matter, sadly. Oh, they have another big welcome labyrinth. You can only use it once per turn, though. monster effects. I can negate you, though. Alright, they're gonna get rid of Mongu, unfortunately. Actually, no, I can prevent this. I can prevent it. I'm gonna Decisive the first one, then Fiendish the lovely lady labyrinth. The lovely labyrinth. Can't do it twice in a turn. You're right, which is why. Which is why. Which is why. What the fuck is wrong with this fucking game, dude? Can't target the Lady Labyrinth of Silver Castle, but I can target the Lovely Labyrinth of Silver Castle. Really? That's unfortunate. But they wasted a Forbidden Droplet on that. They pitched some cards to do it. You're negated, dumb fuck. I'm gonna save this. You're gonna have to banish your big welcome labyrinth to get that shit back to your hands and out of under Phoenix Chain.
They could OTK me right here, so I'm gonna have to set Ghost Ogre. There's no point playing Rivalry, I don't think. What are they bouncing? Bouncing the monster? That is a mistake. You don't have another one of those. You're negated, dumb fuck. Hit me with Ariane, but that's all you're getting. Unless you want to tribute someone. Let you get 1800 in, but then I'm probably gonna set this ghost ogre. Vivid tail. That's interesting. Ghost Ogre set time. Put you in front of Vivid Tail. Labyrinth is definitely one of the harder decks to deal with, in my opinion. Really? Do you have three spells in your grave? Oh god, you do. That's concerning. You're negated, though. Um... Summoning Azalea on me seems like a good reason to bounce Fiendish Chain back to my hand. You're already disabled. You want to pop your own Azalea, dude? I don't see you defeating me with Fierce Tiger Mongo. I'm just not seeing it. What is this face down? Alright, so you're gonna get revealed. Gated. End phase. There you go. I'm gonna vivid tail Phoenix chain. Vivid tail does seem to be doing okay in terms of stats so far. Well, synchro zone is gonna lock you out entirely. That's nice. What is more concerning here? I'm not really sure. I was gonna put the the Fiendish Chain in this position, but now that I drew Synchro Zone, 
might be more valuable to keep for rounds just in case it gets like impermed or something. Synchro Zone. Now you can't attack. I have 19. I have 18. <laughs> nice. Oh, that worked. Keep going. First match was a win against Labyrinth. I'd call that successful. The drawn-out match against Labyrinth, too. It did not necessarily make that easy for me. Although their turn one was not nearly as aggressive as I'm used to. Probably what did it for me. Hey. Pretty much the card I would have wanted to draw there, so that's perfect. We potentially have a perfect lockout right here. This may be everything I need to end the game right away, actually. <laughs> I lose one turn, lock them into the first monster monster they summon, and then Fiendish Chain it. Then they can't do shit. Let's see how they enjoy this. Okay, so first off, we're going to lose one turn. Then Imperm. We got even more going for him. Okay. That's our whole turn. Okay. Very well. I have 33. I have 41. They choose to play it out. Run into issues there. Another set. don't want to do anything. See your first monster. Come on. I was expecting a lightning storm with all the face downs. Nice feather duster. Now lightning storm me. There you go. And that will be the last monster you summon.
summon anything else, I dare you. Magic Broker would be nice. Okay, we need to change. Zero point zero zero one percent of decks are on Fiendish Chain. Well, what more do you have? Once I get Broker, I can swing through you. Uh, uh, for the, uh, the... The Beasts type... The, 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 the Beasts type event that they just did, where I think they restrict you to all Beasts and, um, uh... Like, I think Insects, too. Um, I decided to just go for, like, some sort of fierce Tiger Mongu centric deck, which is all about just making Tiger Mongu stronger and then making my opponent's monsters as weak as possible so I can just board wipe them consistently. And... <laughs> it's been, uh... It's been quite interesting. I knew early on that I should take Melfi Kitty because Melfi Kitty can search Fierce Tiger Mongu. I underestimated how much it feels good great to be able to fetch your key card at any time. That is so nice. Melfi Kitty is a fantastic search card. Or Melfi Caddy. I don't remember what it's called. Really? You're gonna- there can be only one me back, huh? Oh no. How- what a shame. I suppose you can tribute summon something. Nice. I'll wait until they try to do that. summon a level 1 monster, huh? I don't know that that's gonna work the way you intend. During the end phase, I guess you can special summon blue eyes. Do you want that many blue eyes in the grave? Uh-oh, there we go. Watch your special summons. Oh no, you tribute summon, never mind. What do you want to get rid of? Oh, I couldn't respond to that. Okay. You have a choice in whether or not that activates. 
Bye. Nice. I can use that actually. All right, Feather Duster. Oh, that's his effect. I forgot. Your other cards can't be act. Okay, I see. All right. We have methods. by battle or card effect. He's, this fucker is just going to keep coming back, unfortunately. Okay. Let's see how long this lasts. <laughs> And the main phase enters battle phase. Can't attack. Now I got Broker, but it's a bad time because now I got Fierce Tiger Mongo out, unfortunately. I can get rid of it, though. Let's do it. Activate Fierce Tiger Mongo. Okay, well, I can't Ghost Ogre that. But that do actually accomplishes what I wanted. That literally accomplishes what I wanted. Come on, hurry up. I was gonna activate Tiger Mongo to... <clears throat> I was gonna activate Tiger Mongo and then Ghost Ogre it, but if you wanna... Remove it that way, that's cool. And do this too. During your draw phase. Not this one. This one. I don't have any grave hate. I kind of wish I did. This card attacks. I need, like, a grave of the super ancient organism to deal with this. Face down. Into tech. I guess I can use uh, Ghost Ogres a little bit more liberally now. Keep Broker in attack. If somehow they manage to get out Chaos Max on me, it would be a problem. I have 24. I have 31. Do 
You decided you wanted to do this one on one, so. Me some more back row. Both our feather dusters are in the grave. Okay, you want to get rid of Mongo for some reason. Empty up a uh, back row. For ooh, that would be something to pop, I think. Target one of those monsters, place it on the bottom of the deck if you do draw a card. Um, this, unfortunately, is card neutral for them. It's it's not going to deck them out any faster. Unfortunately. But if they activate it, pop it with the Ghost Ogre. Which it looks like they're about to do right now. All three of you are called by the graves? No, I'm remembering last game. Grave diggers trap hole. That sucks. Alright, I got another attempt at that. Grave diggers trap hole. That's interesting though. Rarely, I, I pretty much never see that outside of trap tricks. And I can't imagine Trap Tricks... Trap Tricks might run multiple copies, but I mean, I would sooner believe that they'd like run one copy just in case they want to fetch it. Buy a, a Luber. Yeah, I really just need a Grave of the Super Ancient Organism at this point. If I can get Grave and then Clockwork Knight, then I don't need to worry about Blue Eyes Jet Dragons. Or at least, I don't think I will. There we go. Hell yeah. Nice. I like that. What else could I grab that would be really helpful? Not entirely sure. The grave hate that I could be running is Ice Dragon's Prison. Ice Dragon's Prison still combos really well with Clockwork Knight. I should maybe be running that, honestly. Soul Levy, probably. It's Soul Levy. Pitch. 
The problem is with these two blue eyes jet dragons, they could potentially just loop them back and forth over and over, and that'd be frustrating. As soon as one dies, the other one comes back into play. The other blue eyes jet dragon is in their hands. There's just some card from the graveyard. If a card on the field. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's not necessarily going to work for them. Although, if they loop, I could use. If they loop. I could uh, mill them with Soul Levy. At least in theory. Not great options. I'll take the backup grave. How do you do about combat, though? How, how are we feeling about this? Get a fight? What are we doing? Um, what? Oh, it's a passive effect. That's annoying as shit. It's a passive effect. Damn, okay. Whatever. I'm back. Fuck you. So they can't activate... Damn, alright, well, that... That complicates things a little bit. Why are we doing this? Have we not established that this doesn't work? I couldn't activate it before. I, I couldn't activate Ghost Ogre before because it was that. I don't think they're going to have a whole bunch of banish potential, honestly. I should save Ghost Ogre. This isn't a worthy target. Special summoning Beasteals doesn't do anything for him. Nice. I want this Soul Levy. They're the ones who have There Can Be Only One online right now. That is their choice. I don't even need my There Can Be Only One. They have their own. That's frustrating because now I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to out this Jet Dragon. It's weird that it has a literal effect that they can elect to activate but it is not considered an activated effect. Stupid could it possibly be. How many Phoenix Chains have I burned through? Two. Just need to get them below my deck size. You don't- there's- You're just wasting these, I think. <laughs> Does this even resolve? I, I, I'm not even... I have to imagine this resolves. Oh no! I see what's gonna happen here. That's frustrating. You can banish me. Alright, well, to prevent further chaos. 
I'm gonna get rid of one of these. Yeah, you you know the deal. You know what's going on. He's gonna banish my broker. Assuming this resolves, it wouldn't. There can be only one wouldn't pop mid effect with it. Now he's just gets to banish it. That's unfortunate. Gonna shuffle my guy back into my deck. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to keep a, a larger deck than you. 18. You're at 27. Still not amazing. Please keep drawing. I am all game for that. I can pitch this Vivid Tail without concern. Grave of the Super Ancient Organ is the most valuable card I could run against this deck. Though I need to keep all three copies in case they out one. I want to whip through their deck right now for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. That's not going to help you. That's just going to get a fusion material in the grave. Unless you want all blue eyes in the grave for some reason, but I don't know why. You're preventing yourself from summoning anything extra to the field. Albaz? Why? Why do you want Albaz in the grave? I don't really understand that. If you Tribute Summon, or Tribute Set, I'm confused. Why are you able to attack me? What the fuck is going on right now? You... Oh, it was... This was normal so I'm an idiot. I have uh, completely lost track of the... Lost track of events here. Okay, so... That's annoying. That's probably game, unfortunately. The wisest thing they could do is bounce the Ghost Ogre I set. And they're still going to be able to swing into me for game. That sucks, man. Fucking Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, dude. This card is way too strong. Place the fucking card. I'm gonna lose this fucking deck because to a tribute summoned blue eyes jet dragon. That's annoying as shit. When did they do that? I don't even remember them doing that. I don't understand the point of playing these cards. You know everything you summon's going to the grave. Use Jet Dragon, please. Use Jet Dragon as material. Use Jet Dragon as material. Otherwise, it's going to the grave. You know this. Come on now. It's... Whatever your summon's going to the grave, dude. How... What does it take to learn this? Yep, yeah, there's Albalanitus. The gravy goes. It's your own card doing that, dude. Please bounce anything other than Ghost Ogre. 
Be an idiot. thinking you shouldn't have to think on this you're an idiot you actual buffoon now I lose but still unless I can draw Phoenix chain if I draw Phoenix chain holy fuck where's his other jet dragon Is it in his hands the other jet dragon's in his hand. I can't really... No, man. I needed that Phoenix chain. I don't think I can out this. This was nor- When did this get tri normal summons? I don't remember this being normal summons. I don't know how else he was able to swing through Grave of the Super Ancient. He didn't do like ultimate creature destruction or anything. I, I can't think of any rationalization for it. I'm- I'm just- Kind of fucked in the same position again. Only Vivid Tail could bounce my opponent's cards. Maybe you'll play this again? Fuck me. Ravelry's no good. Dead card. There's no way they fall for the same mistake a second time. You win if you bounce Ghost Ogre. What is going on, dude? Why? What the fuck are you doing? Give me another chance to draw Fiendish Chain, then. The fuck is going on? You bounce Ghost Ogre, you attack for 20, 2000s, and I die! What are you thinking? What the fuck is going on? There's Broker. Which is not super helpful at this point. Maybe they just want to keep burning through my extra deck? I don't fucking know. I'll set Broker. Maybe that'll confuse him a bit. And I'll play another Clockwork Knight. You really seem to hate my fucking Clockwork Knights. Now, even if they bounce one of my cards, they, they can't kill me this turn. I hope you don't tack my face down, because going to the grave with there can be only one. Not my intention. I have 15, you have 15. Sending even more to the grave.
dude electric is just throwing the game for some reason. So far, there can his own copy of There Can Be Only One has not helped him. That sucks. What are you gonna bounce? Well, that's in the grave, unfortunately. Interesting choices were made here. If I draw Phoenix Chain now, I have to use it. Oh, wait a second. I have Vivid Tail. Vivid Tail could help me a little bit. Allure of Darkness, 14. Use Allure of Darkness. Not astounding. Oh, fuck me. Well, it's back up to them playing stupid again. Oh, I forgot! They can get card draws off of my banishes, too. Yeah, keep drawing, please. Um... Shit. I gotta keep Ghost Ogre. I, I can't activate this. Oh, no, don't do this. Draw a card. There is a simple game-winning condition here that they have failed to materialize three times. Clockwork Knights keep coming back. If they get rid of Gold Golgonda, they can swing through my shit, but they're not even trying to do that. Okay, I'm gonna pitch a Gold Golgonda. Or a... I don't know why I keep saying that. Decisive battle. You, you want to win yet? You can do it. You just got to do the right combination of moves. The only reason I haven't forfeit already is because <laughs> you're you could potentially fuck this up. Four times. Four times you have screwed up this, this fucking process. Just wondering how many Albaz fusions I have in my fucking extra deck. By the time I get this goddamn Fiendish Chain, he's gonna fucking Solemn Judgment me or some shit. My fucking god, dude. You really hate the Clockwork Knight. Well, look at that. Well, that's not even Fiendish Chain, but okay. Now I have 12 cards in the deck. You have 12 cards in the deck. I'm currently at an advantage. All right. See how this goes. I will discard. A Chronicle Magician. I banished 10k this team. Oh, that was last game. Alright, well guess what? I'll wait till you go into the battle phase. Not give you time to play through it. What are we doing here? End of main phase. Enters battle phase. Before you declare an attack. Synchro zone.
How many Albaz fusions? I, I have one Albaz fusion left. I can survive a board wipe. What can you do? What can you do? You fucked that up four times! My guy, why? Trying to keep deck neutral. You know what? Yeah, fuck you. Maybe not the wisest move, but I'm doing it. Oh, it can't be destroyed for some reason. Why? You're gonna shuffle one of my cards? You're completely helping me right now. You can't take my monster. Drawing two cards is worse than giving me one of my cards back. I have 13 now, you have 11. Thanks for that. All right, well, this is just kind of a hands-off game right now. There's nothing I can really do. If you try to play around it by special summoning something, I'm just gonna soul of you to death. I was resigned to losing this game, but somehow you did this. Throw them all to the grave. Let's see it. Come on. Even if you got rid of your their own, your own, there can be only one. I have one as well. And I am not convinced you even have means of getting rid of your own, there can be only one. It's not a synchro summon, which means you're fucked. <laughs> and you can't synchro summon something unless you can summon something. And you can't have more than one monster in play with Clockwork Knight, and there can be only one. So you cannot do anything right now. There's 10k. You've already used your uh, Feather Duster, turn one, on me. You fucking lost this because you didn't take the obvious win. Nothing on the board was preventing you from attacking me directly except the one monster you could have bounced and you didn't bounce it. Fucking why? You just gonna forfeit yet? You had an opportunity and you let it slip. Yeah, let's branded fusion something into play. That'll do it. Hi there. Nope. You're not a synchro monster. Unless you could synchro with like a special effect or with something from your hands, which very few cards are able to do, and I doubt you're running them, you're fucked. Even if you somehow manage to pull off a board wipe spell, you wouldn't, I, it wouldn't resolve because of Decisive Battle. I don't have any monsters, so you can't infinite imperm anything I have. You're going to lose like this. I'm not even sure what cards... I, I, I genuinely don't even know what cards Blue Eyes could conceivably run or would conceivably run that could out this. I think this completely fucks them. Synchro Zone just won me this game. I was thinking I had to draw into my last Fiendish Chain. I honestly was not even thinking of Synchro Zone. Did I even draw a Synchro Zone up to this point? This is my first Synchro Zone. 
Lure of Darkness. whoop de doo I have 10. No need to use it. What can you do? I could have forfeited. Very tempted to forfeit it. And yet I stuck it out and you have fucked up way too many times for it to make a difference. Why is that in your deck? Just as a fucking tuner? Do you have any sword souls in your deck? You have Fallen of Albaz, actually. Just another copy of Fallen of Albaz for you. You're still at eight. Special summon something, come on. Branded fusion. All that to get jet, jet dragon to your hands, and then back in the grave again. If I place magical broker face up, you could infinite imperm me. So I'm gonna place this face down, and I'll still be taking precautions. How many imperms have you used? One. I saw one infinite impermanence. You could have several. I kind of wish I could take better advantage of Branded Regains. Sadly, I don't know how. I don't think it's worthwhile enough just for the, the few copies of, like, Dimension Shift or whatever I might play. There was su- Oh, super poly! You could have super polyed me too, but you can't do that when I'm face down. I have eight, you have seven. Keeps unbanishing everything he banishes, but it's not keeping your your deck count up. You're just oscillating between one and two less than me. The only way you can get rid of cards on the field is by tribute setting, and you can't do that with the White Stones of Legend. There goes an evenly matched, which is also useless to you right now. I'm not doing shit. I'm at seven, now you're at five. Unless you can do something, you will deck out before me. 
but what are the odds that you can get out anything of consequence with only one monster available to be face up at a time? So it was a practically guaranteed lockdown in most cases, save for the fact that they do have the opportunity to tribute set, and they were able, they thought about that, and they got around that shit really quick. They knew they could do it, they played around it, so good on them. They could not just simply take the win when they had the opportunity, though. And that's, that's gonna fuck them. And all right, you're like, let's end this faster. Okie doke. All right, they want they want to end it right now. I'm in favor of that. I don't think you can summon any sort of Albaz guard and accomplish anything of value. Oh, you didn't use your own fucking Blazing Cartesia as material! Blue Eyes Tyrant would have swung right through that shit. But then again, I did place Broker and Broker wouldn't have died, so. You fucked yourself even harder, man. Should have blazed it. Should have Cartesian me or uh, it got Tyrant Dragon out a long time ago. Holy, f there it is. Wow, I I I thought I had like a dead lock there, and it turned out to be a forty-eight turn game. Holy shit! No one. Good grief, that was rough. All right. Game two, I guess. Let's go to game three. <laughs> Going first, I'll take it. Not a great hand, I'll admit. I might be able to get away with some shit with just the lose one turn, though. It remains to be seen. This might be a loss. Obviously, I shouldn't sign off on that too quickly, but... One Feather Duster and it's over, bros. Dalaman, great. That's not helping matters. Take me for 500, please. By all means. If I draw into a dimension shifter, I think I'm just gonna use it.
Well. Um, should I? I don't know. I'll use a lure. If they negate it, they negate it. Ash Blossom me. There you go. That's why you couldn't do a whole lot. Just to be clear, it doesn't negate it for the full turn. Unlike Fall by the Grave. So I'll just activate another one. That's a little bit more helpful. How to deal with a Link Spam deck. I think we need to get Synchro Zone. I'll place that face down. Force you to play something a bit bigger. But with lose one turn, you may not be able to play a whole lot. At least that's the hope. Really? Just for an attack boost, huh? There's there's not a follow-up to that? Like a Banish Graveyard effect? This card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Okay. That's just a pretext to getting it in the grave. Yep, there you go. Link 2. Hi there. You're not gonna synchro 6 me, I don't think. I'd be surprised. They could get rid of my lose one turn with Ghost Ogre. Oh, I guess not. In XYZ. Oh, that's right. They do have that shit. What does this even do? Detach. Special summon from the deck. Not activate monster effects for the rest of this turn. Except fire monsters. Sense of the graveyard is a link summon. Target one monster on the field. Return it to the hands. That's annoying. Okay. That would be able to resolve. All right, you're gonna bounce my Ghost Ogre back to my hand. You wouldn't have been able to swing through Ghost Ogre anyway. This is fine. I think I'll take 1800. Oh, you want to do that shit again, huh? A Link 2? Or a Link 3, sorry. Oh, there goes Link 3. 
oh no, you got some dumb gimmick where you just keep linking over the same monster and over and over again. Entirely sure why you do that. Soul Levy would be very nice. Only just got gold sarcophagus. Are you... Can you get an attack bonus? That may be an infinite imp or, or inf an infinite imperm. Yes, that's that is the name of it. Target one card on the field, destroy it. You're gonna, you're gonna destroy two cards? I'd rather you didn't. Uh, that sucks. Why did not... Whatever. All right, might be OTK'd here. If I can survive, though, I can get Synchro Zone up. Might be in good shape. Got a backup, lose one turn. Um, no. I don't know what kind of extender you're looking to fetch, but we're just gonna no. I imagine you can summon some other shit back from the graveyard and just link up another one of these sunlight wolves. Okay, okay, well. See if they can OTK me. That card was fucking banished. Alright, they're not OTKing me. I appreciate that much. Garibo, my guy. Oh shit, all of this would be really good. All of this would be really good. I will force the bait if I get Lingaribo to tribute itself. I will f I'll force it with There Can Be Only One. I'll have to, unfortunately. It could negate some of my shit, too. See how this resolves?
I ended my turn. Pass the fucking turn, you stupid piece of shit game. Oh my god. Why? No! Alright, well, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking forfeit, dude. God fucking damn it. Dude, that exact same card effect, or the functional same card effect, for Sword Soul requires them to at least tribute a worm monster. These guys just point at one of their monsters and destroy two of my cards. Fucking bullshit, dude. Ugh. King of Dragon. I hope I'm up against Light Sworn. I tend to have pretty good luck against them. I see a Dogmatica layout, I see a Light Sworn monster profile, I see a Light profile... Apparently all symbols of a pussy, alright. Back at two more wins, let's go. Max, see me? You don't have to worry about that, dude. Why don't you max see me? I hear it goes over quite well. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just like normal summon broker just to like kind of panic them and have them max see. That's great. That's great. Alright. Well, bam. Yo. Thanks for Max seeing me. It is the uh, showdown of the century. Traps are gay versus Max see me. Alright, let's see how this goes. What kind of deck are you running, Mr. Max see me? Nice Max C, by the way. Please play, like, a multi-type deck. And by that, I, I don't mean, like, Max C and one other type. Be a pile deck. Oh, look at that. Aturia. I hope you only play plants. Any Naturia you summon, I can Fiendish Chain. Carry a card from your deck to your hand. All the main Nurturia synchros need to be fucking banned, I swear to god. An Imperial custom, or not custom, but an Imperial order on legs. That's somehow acceptable, but Imperial order is not. Oh, or sorry, Imperial custom. I keep mixing up the fucking name. You got one monster that negates monster effects, one that negates trap effects, one that negates spell effects. 
And you can get this shit out turn one. The fuck kind of bullshit is that? I hope I fucked you with this rivalry. You got an awful lot of back row for an Aeturia deck. You didn't summon anything else? I'm just gonna pretend you don't have any more plant monsters. By the way, actually, you know what? I, maybe I shouldn't do that. That would completely bypass the point of rivalry. Wait a second. What did the Naturias require? Fuck. Look this up real quick. I think they just need to be Earth type. Actually, in fact, I'm, I'm confident it just requires Earth type. So, ne never mind what I was gonna say. Okay. Uh, you got a lot of back row. I guess I'll try attacking you. Rush recklessly. Okay. That's cool. I'll end it. Rivalry of Warlords may actually be doing something right now. If not, then I might as well play Clockwork Knight. But I'll, I'll wait to see what else they're running. Runic! Oh, lovely. That's cool. Okay. So, we're running some runic cards. Don't like that. There goes a synchro zone. Win rate 53%, big shocker. Monster, okay. Something I can't swing over, presumably. I can swing over that. Not be destroyed by card effects. Card is destroyed by battle. You can target one card on the field to destroy it. Okay. Runic Fountain keeps their deck neutral. But it still gives them a shit ton of card advantage. Okay, if I don't play Clockwork Spirit, I may be able to toss whatever is... Whatever they have down there. That is a great pull right now. Going for your face down. What are the odds it's a beast? This is a com this is a, a a starter, a combo starter, I believe. Your opponent special summons the extra deck. Got to keep that in mind. Thirty-one. I gotta pop this runic fountain as early as possible.
Target one non-quick play runic spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. And bring back the fucking runic fountain by summoning this fucker. What are you doing during combat phase? In an evenly matched me? Wonderful. I mean, I could just try beating you down right now. In before you lava golem me out of nowhere. All right, you're gonna be able to pop a card if I destroy this. If I can prevent that with decisive. Choose wisely. Is it rivalry? Ooh. Good choice, but indifferent from any other choice but the brokers. Not choosing the brokers was the wise move. Wise move. I can't speak. Special summon a runic monster, huh? How high a defense does it have? Interesting choice. Don't chain, please don't chain. Hell yeah, get the fuck out of here, bitch. Don't call by the grave me, please. Hell yeah. Fucking suck a dick. You don't even activate your fucking effect on summon because you can't do shit. With lose one turn. Can't get Runic Fountain back as long as I got lose one turn. Right. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright. I am out decisive battle. That was during my turn, so there's not a whole lot I could have done. Please don't Lightning Storm Feather Duster me. I'd appreciate that very much so. Regeki. Special summon a runic monster. Why do we keep doing this? I, I understand you have the option, I'm just not understanding why you have the why, why you're using the option. Huggin. Another card you control will be destroyed by card effect. You can banish this card you control instead. Card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect. Return to the extra deck. Eight. I'd rather you do that than use your negate to banish my deck. Good. So, continue. I want to protect my shit as early as possible. They're already negated. I'm not concerned about it. I want to draw into another decisive battle as early as I can.
that'll help too. Okay. Guard one card of faith. Another card you control will be destroyed by card effect. You can banish this card you control instead. Okay. Interesting. I think we should just attack. Go back to the extra deck. Fine. Back. Main phase two. Feather Duster. Special summon an Achuria monster. Alright, you don't get your on summon effect. Your opponent normal special summons a monster. The other card. Oh, it was triple tactics, okay. Hmm. No effect. Get no effect. Okay, I'm a little concerned here, so I'm gonna set Clockwork Knight, and we're gonna Blind Allure. Because they could full combo me. Alright, that's fine. Um, yeah, that's fine. I got Vivid in the Grave! That is actually not an issue. Vivid in the Grave. I have four spells in the grave, so I could Azalea... Five spells in the grave. So I could hypothetically Azalea if I wanted to. Prince monster effect is activated. Okay. Synchro 6. Do your are your synchros plant type or are they beast type? I genuinely have not thought about that. Are the Naturia synchros different? I could Azalea, but I don't think it's necessary right now. Synchro zone, if I have to. I guess I'll just keep going. I don't think there's anything preventing me. Keep going. Suck a dick. I think Rivalry of Warlords is fucking them somehow. I'm not entirely sure how, but I think it is. I have the sneaking suspicion that their synchros are not plants. Oh, that's a panic set if I've ever seen one. Should I, uh...
That'd be hitting them for a lot. I don't want them to be able to synchro summon. Only control one type of monster. I'm not sure if this would necessarily prevent them from synchro summoning. I, the, the rulings with these are very weird. I'll, I'll try swinging through this normally. Actually, if this is a Ash Blossom, let's assume it's an Ash Blossom or something also beefy. I don't know why that sets. That's a bit confusing. That I was not allowed to summon that. I don't know why. Anyway. Ash Blossom. Yes! I fucking knew it. Alright, now in case that allows you to play through things, I'm gonna activate Vivid Tail now. Bounce back, Clockwork Knight. And please do not draw into a board wipe spell. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Naturia is some of the biggest fucking ball crushing bullshit in the world. So I was really worried about that one. Alright, let's see what is in their deck. I have a feeling their synchro monsters are beasts and that's why they weren't summoning them. They have synchros. Beasts. Dragon. Alright, that's it. That explains it. And they did only have two Geary of the Runic Fangs. So that's why we only saw two of them. I don't know why you need more than one Huggin. Coral Dragon. He escaped a Baron de Fleur and a Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. I am a bit perplexed by what I'm looking at here. Fusion, summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control. So, the entire strategy for getting Sword Soul and Barone out seems to be that you're playing Camellia, literally only three copies of Camellia, any of your runic cards can get out Geary, and it's not even that simple. It's tuners? They're not tuners. What are your tuners? This is a tuner. Is it... Uh, other than... Ash Blossom... That is very perplexing. Is this a tuner? This is not a tuner. These are pretty much your main tuners. So you have... Naturia Camellia. Opponent normal, so you can special summon one Naturia monster from your graveyard. So you're expecting some level of recursion from Camellia. And your idea is by some combination of these cards, probably starting with Mole Cricket, you get out, presumably, one of these three synchros. You only have the three. 
Archeon is probably your strongest. Coral Dragon can pop something. And then, on top of that, you somehow get Naturia Camellia back on the field, and then you synchro into a Barone or a Soul Soul. But that's your end game. That is literally your end game. Are you able to recycle these that easily? Card is normal special summon. You can send one Naturia card from your deck to the graveyard. Usually send a Naturia Sacred Tree. This card is sent to the graveyard. Add a Naturia card from your deck to your hand. Accept Naturia Sacred Tree. If you would tribute a monster to activate a Naturia monster's effect, presumably Sunflower, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard instead, possibly triggering Sacred Tree. If your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can special summon a Naturia monster from your graveyard. Special summon one Naturia monster from your deck, or you can special summon two Naturia monsters if your opponent controls a monster with the highest attack on the field. So, is the rationalization that... Special summon each reaction deck while this card is in your graveyard. Special summon this card. Okay, so this comes into play. It tributes itself, summons Naturia Camellia, and your one copy of Sunflower. Or, I guess, any any copies of Max C. Surprisingly, Max C is kind of viable here. You synchro into any one of your three synchro level sixes. On Summon of Camellia, before you Synchro Summon, you send a Naturia to the grave. You send a Naturia Sacred Tree to the grave. It gets sent. And... I I'm just a bit perplexed. I'm not sure how these two deck types really even synergize at all. You can technically make Garura Wings of Resonant Light, but... You'd have to use Naturia Blessing. Doesn't seem like a great deck, to be perfectly honest. I don't know how useful Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign even is in here. Barone de Fleur is like one interruption. I kind of don't even think of Barone de Fleur as like a proper boss monster. It's just like DPE. Like it's it's not the focal point of the deck, it's just cancer that everybody sprinkles into their deck just a little bit of extra cancer but in this case you're kind of treating it like a boss monster it's very strange this deck is very weird to me also weird to see that all the all of these runic cards are semi-limited yet ironically not the one that i've been using the most all right whoop oh, hold on okay i just need one more win to rank up. If I can do that, that would be great. I would really appreciate that. Uh, Blue Eyes or Dark Magician. Okay. I'm very familiar with these deck. Oh, you want me to go first? Is it blue? I, I would take that to mean I'm probably up against Blue Eyes. I don't think Dark Magician would really do that. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, first thing I have to do is activate Dimension Shifter. Then I'm going to Gold Sarcophagus. And I'm going to assume you're a Blue Eyes deck. And we're going to get... A Grave of the Super Ancients. I'm going to play one lose one turn.
you have a 45 card deck. Full extra deck. What can you do? Dimension Shifter and a lose one turn. What can you do? They caught the hero stage. They could just go heroes on me. But they'd have to play through a Dimension Shifter. It is heroes! Fuck! Okay. I was more confident against Blue Eyes. But Heroes is also fucked by uh, Grave of the Super Ancient. That's something. Oh, please full combo into my Dimension Shifter. It's gonna attack for a thousand. Alright. One turn definitely helps me here. Possible infinite imperm. Broker is kind of what I wanted to draw. If it's special summon, you can add one change spell. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one hero monster. Back to your hands. I'm gonna force you to play that out. Add one. Fuck. It's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna set broker. Maybe highly unwise. I'm gonna set broker. Oh, I did not mean to go to battle phase. Don't panic, sorry. Alright. They can't infinite imperm the lose one turn. Because my monster's not face up. They could Stratos me, though. Interesting. Favorite contact. Placed almost a hero Neos into the deck. Neither player can return the monster special summon back to the extra deck. Lovely. I do uh, enjoy disliking you. You're a pain. No Miracle Fusion for you. Suck my dick. Alright, now I gotta survive this turn and get Grave the Super Ancient to resolve. 33-39. He can pop a card if he gets another hero out to attack with. I hope he doesn't pop Broker. If he pops the lose one turn, I can respond to it. Hey, another, actually, I take it back. Another hero needs to attack in order to proc his effect. Unless he normal summons something, he's not going to be able to activate that. Or he gets out uh, the, um, the the hero the hero Link monster. I forget what it's called. Like Wonder, Wonder something. When another monster attacks, right? Hell yeah. Right, you attack. Hi. Nice battle phase. Alright, that worked out swell. I expected him to do a little bit more there. I'm gonna activate a second, lose one turn. You have an issue with that?
Ash Blossom me. Show me you have nothing else. If they have, like, a mask change face... uh -huh, That's... Fine. Honestly. I am A-OK -okay with that. Get that shit out of the way. Are you having trouble targeting me for some reason? There you go. Glad to get that out of the way. Now I get a draw and I get Grave back. Fiendus Chain, lovely. Now I'm going to need this Fiendus Chain to deal with Stratos. If they get Stratos out, I could have big issues. Love it. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, ends up playing Heroes. I'm gonna save this Fiendish Chain for Stratos. I can't imagine anything else they can normal summon that's really gonna cause me issues. And Grave. I need to stick this out long enough for a decisive battle, too, in case they draw into a Feather Duster. If they are able to go into Dark Law, then they'd be able to negate my decisive battle. But that's talking about, like, a possibility that probably won't happen. But it could happen. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't really care. Okay. Sends them to the grave. Add a hero from your deck to your hands. Could be Stratos. It is indeed Stratos. <laughs> I know your deck. I know your strategy. You fool. Add a hero from your deck to your hand, please. That's what I figured you'd do. Thank God I have a fucking fiendish chain. Mm, get fucked. Suck my dick. Oh, I could just attack over your weenie 200 defense. Watch this. Sunrise's effect doesn't activate. I do nothing. Nothing happens. Very nice. Very nice. End phase. Go on, end phase. There you go. Now I get to turn this Fiendish Chain into a draw. It has served its purpose. And now you can cycle Stratos back and I'll just have another fucking Fiendish Chain for you. Vivid Tail, in case you do manage to pop a card.
there can be only one would be very nice against your deck. This guy's not letting me play, I don't understand. I saved that fiendish chain for the express purpose of fucking your Stratos. It is exactly the play you went for, and it is exactly what I used it for. We are interacting in exactly that way. That you feel like you want to bash your head up against a wall right now is entirely on you. Bide your time. Patience. There are turns to be had and cards to be drawn. Outs to be acquired. Clockwork Knight? No, Synchro Zone. Synchro Zone, I think, would probably fuck you. I don't think you can do anything against Synchro Zone. How many Stratos do you have in your deck? I think I would run three. Synchro Zone. And attack. Hey, there you go. He had more cards in his deck than me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Fucking rank up Latinum rank two. Hell yeah. That feels really good. I honestly tried recording this uh, once already and it just didn't go very well, so I scrapped the recording, but this went way fucking better. Look at that match history real quick. I'm liking that. I mean, you, you see what I was doing beside- actually, to be perfectly clear, none of this is in normal ranks. This is all part of this stupid event thing going on. String of wins, string of losses, nothing too special. But hey, these, these went pretty well. Very nice. Very, very nice. I don't think there's anything special to nab right now. I really want Battlefield Tragedy. It's not like as immediately, like, it's it's not as immediately fatal as, um, uh, Soul Levy, but I still really want it. It can grab more copies of itself, which gives my opponent more targets, which means I can draw additional protection for Broker if I don't have a whole lot of cards. That would be great. I really want Battlefield Tragedy. I've just seen it highlighted in like videos. It's like, this card is shitty. No one's gonna run this. Too slow. Blah, blah, blah. Alas. Anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, let me just pull up my deck list here so we just see what we're running with right here. Deep into Platinum rank right now. This is what's getting me around. Um, I could still make changes to this right now. Um, there are some things I would tweak. Synchro Zone has definitely helped in these few games. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily been better than Fire Prism um, under the circumstances, but... Um, it has done its job. It has done its job when I've needed it to do its job. Good. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, bleh, 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 bye.